everyone. Today we're going to do question number 94, binary tree in order traversal. We're first going to go understand the problem, and then I'm going to show you three possible solutions, but I'm actually going to code the most optimal solution. This question may seem uh, relatively simple at first, but I wanted to reiterate and talk about um, a more advanced uh, algorithm to solve this problem uh, in such that you can actually uh, achieve this in a very, very efficient manner. Uh, this algorithm would be called Morse Traversal. If you want to listen to more, stay tuned. All right, let's read the question. Given a binary tree, return an in-order traversal of all its nodes. It sounds pretty simple, right? So, but let's um, look at an actual example, what they're trying to ask for. All right, let's look at an example. So I have a very simple binary tree defined here, uh, where the leftmost nodes are, of course, smaller than your root node, and anything on the right is greater than things on your root node. Okay, so a couple of ways we can solve this problem. Um, when we look at in-order traversal, uh, the from the quick looks of things, the in order of this binary tree is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, right? We know that's in order, right? However, how do we actually solve this problem, right? Uh, one may think that, okay, since this is a binary tree, what kind of attributes does it have? We know that in a binary tree, your leftmost node or in this context here, will be smaller, and your right node, right side, will be greater, right? That's an attribute of it. Um, so with that being said, we can actually use this um, and think about, okay, why don't we just look at your left and your right, uh, and continue to look at your smallest number, which is, I'm just gonna go to my leftmost element, go left and right, and left and right, up to the point where I can't go left anymore, right? And then I'll print the value, and then I'll maybe I'll walk to my right and go down and continue this process, right? Now this solution is a, there's a thing that comes into mind right away, um, and that is a very recursive in nature, right? I could always repeat the same small sub problems um, and re recursively go over and over and over again to solve this um, in order to traversal. However, doing a recursive way is not the most uh, time and space efficient, right? So what other thing, what other ways can we think about to solve this problem? It is, don't get me wrong, it is definitely a possible solution what we just talked about, but you know, we're a little bit better than that. So we're gonna try to talk and go through something that's a little bit more advanced. Now, another way to solve this would be more of a iterative approach, right? You can do, you can, you know, create some sort of, you know, storage thing, right? Uh, a storage like stack of some sort and you could just as you iterate through here or as you go through all these elements you could pop and you know basically get a solution there too however that's not I'm not gonna spend my time on these two solutions because you know if you really want to know more detail about it you could probably look at you know a solution to explain it but those are not the most advanced and most not not the most optimal way to solve this problem right the problem we're gonna dive deeper today in is called the Morris algorithm. All right, let's begin. So the first step you do is create a variable that points to the root node. In our case, I'm gonna initialize a variable called tourist, uh, and it's gonna basically look at the root node, right? Um, so, you know, as a tourist, I wanna make sure that I'm gonna do this algorithm up to the point where my tourist you know, is still standing on something that exists, right? So that's my second number two. I'm gonna make sure that while the tourist is not on, not lost or null, uh, I'm gonna continue to do a couple of things, right? So what do I need to do? I'm gonna have to initialize a guide, right? I'm gonna tell a guide to go, hey, can you look at um, on my leftmost side uh, and stand there and just make sure that, you know, I'm gonna set a guide to look at the tourist left subtree um, and to see if that's cool or not, right? So the first thing I gotta do is like, okay, well, I have two variables now, one variable that is looking at my root node and another variable, which I call guide, that's gonna look at my leftmost or left subtree, right? I'm gonna tell the guide first to go and look at 
okay, you're looking at my left subtree. Um, the next step I want you to do is look to uh, the rightmost segment of that subtree, right? So I'm gonna tell the guy to walk to the rightmost point, right? To walk to the rightmost point. In this case, it's seven. Um, and then, uh, because I can't go right anymore, I could go left, but I can't go right anymore. That is our echo condition. I'm telling like, okay, can you uh, can you create something for me, right? So as a guide, when you read out, reach up to the rightmost point, I'm going to tell the guy to create a temporary connection point to where the tourist is, right? So this connection point, we're just going to highlight it in orange. Um, and that pretty much says that, okay, hey, you know, we know that at least in this segment, um, this is the final point on your right side from the left subtree. Uh, cool. You're safe to walk. Um, and I'm going to create a bridge to go connect back into your where you started. <clears throat> so I'm going to tell the tourist to go and traverse down to my left, uh, left segment, left subtree, right? Tell the tourist to go here. That's great. <clears throat> See, we haven't done anything yet. We're just telling it to traverse. We still have to get to this point, right? So let's, um, let's look what's happened here. So once the tourist goes in here, we actually, you know, repeat this process again. Okay. And, uh, I'm going to show you on, um, I'm going to exit this presentation and show you actually here Make this more easier. So, well, I think I missed something. I'm going to grab this back in here. Boom. Okay, cool. So I have this bridge I created, right? Um, don't read this segment yet. I'm going to put my head, my head's too big. Don't read it yet. Um, let me just shrink myself a little bit smaller, smaller. Um, so what we're going to do here is simply do the same process again. We're gonna make sure to tell the guy to go to the leftmost node, okay? And you're gonna, the guy's gonna do the same thing. Go down here to the right segment, and I'm gonna create a bridge because I'm on the. This is the most right segment I can go. Create that bridge up to here, and tell my tourist to go left, right? And the next step, if we follow that again, we tell the guy to go my left subtree. But oh no, there's nothing on the left side here anymore, right? So therefore, the next step I got to do is, well, if my guide is lost, which it is the case when my tourist is on node number three, I'm going to tell the tourist to walk, you know, tell the tourist to note that particular point, which is going to be three, right? I'm going to note it as three. And I'm going to tell the tourist to go walk to the right instead, because if you walk to the left, it's dangerous. Cool. All right. And now we repeat that process again. Tell my guy to go left. Oh, and the guy can't go left anymore. So what do you do? You print it out. All right. And then you tell the tourist to go right. And because there's a bridge here, I'm going to walk up that bridge and go to my number five. Tell my guy to go and repeat that process again. Tell my guy to go left and then go right. But at this time, the bridge already exists, right? So if the bridge exists, that's telling me that I've already visited this. I'm not going to tell my guy, tell my tourist to go visit this again. So therefore, I'm going to go and destroy this bridge, right? And I'm going to tell my uh, tourist to go and just go to the right segment or go walk right. All right. But also, before you walk right, make sure you register um, your existing point, which is this. All right. And then the tourist will go to the right. Repeat the same process. Tell look at the left leftmost node. And then over here, because there's nothing else in the right segment, this is the rightmost, I'm going to create a bridge connection here to this node, right? And then tell my tourist to go walk left, right? And as you walk left, tell my guy to go, okay, can you go my left side? Oh, there's nothing here, right? So therefore, remember what I said? Register this value, register the value, and go right. All right, same process. There's not one when, when you're going to tell your tourist to go on the left, which is going to be a six. The bridge exists. Destroy it. Right. And we continue on, which is OK. Tell to go right. But in, if I tell it go right in this case, it's going to go back into number nine. Right. And we take a register of this number seven. Pop it in here. All right. And then again, tell my guy to go here, which is going to go down to the right segment. This exists destroy it and tell my tourist that you've been at this point already nine and tell my tourist to go right 
same process again go down here send my guide to go to the left create that bridge uh, I'm just gonna copy this and create that bridge over here make this orange so you can see and tell my tell my uh, tourist to walk left right can't walk my guide goes here and dies because there's nothing in here on the left side so therefore you create this again and you know you tell you walk right up here tell the guide to go down here and destroy the bridge and tell the guide or tell the tourist to go right if they go right what happens well that's our exit condition right here right you do this until the tourist is not lost in this case if he goes down you're pretty much lost but have you noticed something that's kind of interesting what's, what's over here or, or here well i've actually registered the solution that we're looking for right so this is pretty much the morris traversal it really simply just tells you like you have basically two pointers um, one that signifies like the a tourist and one that you can think about it as a guide and all the guide really does is look at your left mount node uh, and then go traverse to the rightmost point create a bridge to where the tourist is and continue that process over and over again until there's places where you terminate and register the point right so let's actually uh, we probably get a better understanding if we start coding this so let's let's jump into some code all right we're back in code perfect um, so one of the first things I want to do is, you know, again, make sure this is a function, define this and delete this over here, make it nice and clean. Um, like I said before, I'm going to create that variable. I'm going to create the tourist or tourist. Actually, don't have to capitalize that tourist. I'll make that equal or at least point or reference the root node. And I'm going to also create a solution array because that's what they're asking for great now remember my rules that i had before uh, i'm gonna make sure that while my tourist is not lost or is not low no in this case i'm gonna do some stuff right but remember when we write these things i'm gonna return a solution here first so i don't forget all right so the first thing you gotta do is uh well let's let's create that guide Right. The guide is going to be looking at the tourists, tourists dot left, right? Remember one key point. Uh, when we have a variable looking at an object or something that is not primitive, um, it is actually just referencing that element. It's not actually copying that element, right? You're given the, uh, the idea of where that element is stored in memory and you get a you know reference that point right so that's very important i'll dive deeper later on on other videos to talk about this little nuance um detail but that's something to be very um to be aware of okay so going back into the so the uh, i can't talk right now going back into the actual question i'm going to set the guide to go on the tourist dot left which is effectively looking at the left sub tree right uh, and then when I'm there, I'm going to make sure that I go to as long as my guide is um, dot right does not equal to null and the guide dot uh, right does not equal to the uh, tourist, right? Uh, tourist. Okay, yeah, there we go. I'm going to make sure that my guide equals to guide dot right all right so this effectively sets you to go walk to the rightmost point right so what happens if you're already at the rightmost point well if my guide is equal guide dot right is equal to null right that's when i'm at my terminal point um i'm going to create that bridge right so i'm going to make sure that my right or guide dot right will equal to where the tourist exists right now tour tourist all right so that's where the tourist is uh did i spell tourist right okay cool i'm gonna make sure that in the tourist and then i'm gonna tell my tourist to okay now it's safe you know um you can actually go and go to tourist uh equals to tourist dot left right cool so that you know this this is one process and then you go through it again and then we did just for the other case which is well what if uh we cannot you know if the tourist or at least 
if my rightmost element is at the bridge point, right? So I'm going to make sure I can adjust that, that scenario, which is going to be guide.right equals to null, right? So this one deals with creating the bridges. This is going to be destroying those bridges, all right? So as I destroy the bridges, I make sure I've got to make uh, write a solution dot push the uh, tourist location tourist dot bow right and then tell my tourist tourist to go tourist tourist dot right right so remember what i mentioned this is like creating of the bridge segment this is like destroying the bridge right that i was referring to earlier all right um and one thing that we did not note here is that well this is only the case if my tourist um this is only case that hmm i think i missed something here right what happens i forgot something here which is well what happens if your tourist is on the edge we haven't dealt with that case yet right so i'm gonna look at here go saying like okay um i'm only gonna do all of this stuff if my uh tourist dot left does not equal to no right so what does this mean is that okay this all works out as long as my tourist is not on the edge, right? So what if the tourist is on the edge? Remember what we mentioned earlier? If the tourist is on the edge, we tell them to pretty much, all right, you're at the edge and you're gonna make sure that you record the solution dot push here, which is the tourist dot uh, value, right? And we're gonna make sure that the tourist goes to the tourist dot right cool all right so this pretty much I believe would solve the problem right so in this segment here um, I'm gonna run this loop while the tourist is sitting on a pot in a space that you know exists I'm gonna create a guide that is looking at the tourist's left subtree I'm going to go and make sure that, okay, I'm going to still walk until the point where I'm in a place where I can't walk anymore, right? At least this will tell me by, if I say my, my tourist.left, right? So on, if, my, if I'm at a place where I can still continuously walk, I'm going to make sure to set my guide to look at the rightmost point on my left tree um, and create that bridge or destroy the bridge, right? Okay, cool. So let's see if we submit the solution, if it solves the problem. Oops, wrong thing. Let's submit. Oh no, I messed up something. What did I mess up on? All right, I might have, uh, let's see. Ah, okay. Right. This closes that. I might actually have too many um, I didn't create a bracket here. All right. Cool. Cool. That opens to that. Uh, and that closes this out. And there we go. Cool. And we solved the problem. All right. Uh, hope this helps and uh, stay tuned for the next episode if you want more and drop a little bit comment below or subscribe if you like it um, And we could just go through another uh, another exercise next time. See you guys